she graduated from uh, what's this man, Okada? What's his name? Ibnadion University. She studied law. Well, after graduation, she went to the law school in Abuja. Her bar exams, she failed. That was the first year. She went back again for another year. That's year number two. She went back, sat for the exams, she failed. The third year, she now decided to do her NYC. She did the NYC and went back to sit for the exams. She failed the third time. Hallelujah. But you see, when you are not settled the matter with God and said, God, it is true. Human effort is futile. So I think it was November last year. Somebody gave her my number and she called. That was when she told God the story, crying and crying. That she's about to go for the fourth year, the fourth time. And you know, when you become an object of ridicule like that, people that you think are close to you, they will flee from you. They will mock you and tell you you are a nobody. Child of God, that shall never be your portion. Now I know the meaning of uh, the saying that uh, failure is an orphan. But success has so many relatives. I started praying for her from then. I'll call her, we'll pray. On WhatsApp, we'll pray. She went for the exams around April this year. Was it the day before yesterday? Yeah, Friday. She sent me a message. I said, Pastor, please pray for me. Keep praying for me. My results are about to come out any moment from now. But I just did a few minutes after 3 a.m. Yesterday morning, I got a message from her. She said, God has passed me. She didn't say I passed. And that's the beautiful thing. I can forward what she said to me and go to the church water. She said, God has passed me. God will pass you. God will pass you. Where every human effort has failed, you will succeed. Because God will pass you up. In the name of Jesus. I am a happy man. When you attribute something unto the Lord, and you know clearly, God, it is you. I want to encourage somebody this, this day. This week, God will support you in the name of Jesus. God will support you in the name of Jesus. I will tell you this at one later. Rise up. Say, God, support me. Father, you are all I have. 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 Father, you are the only one I have. Father, support me. Father, you are the only one I have. Father, support me. I cannot do it by myself. Father, I cannot do it by myself. Lord, help me. How can I do it by myself? I can't. I can't. I heard about you. That is why I'm coming to your presence this morning. Let there be no disappointment for me, oh Lord. Let there be no disappointment for me. God 
of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, remember me today. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, wherever I have ever doubted you, Baba, overrule my doubts. Overrule my fear. Overrule every doubt in my life. Every doubt in my heart. Father, overrule and do that which only you is able to do for me. Overrun my job. We yeah, have looked up to man instead of looking up to you. Why not come and take charge? Situations. I 
I said, Mama, Papa, just calm down. I mean, they, they kidnap me. It is then that we say, quick, 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 this one is too hot for us to do. And that happened yesterday. <laughs> Go 
good and godly things don't matter anymore. It is evil that they tend to glorify. But we can be different. We must be different. It doesn't matter the direction that the world is going. Child of God, you and I ought to be going in the direction of God. And the Lord himself will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, I'm a bit still a bit past in some technology, video technology you know. In video cameras, there's something. I think it's even in our mobile phones now because you have cameras in mobile phones. There is something that's, that, that is called a stabilizer. In a video camera, even if you are doing that, it still stabilizes the pictures that you are taking. If the cameras in mobile phones too, the, the, that technology is still there. That is why sometimes when you want to take a picture, you will see a square that will come. If that's, that's telling you, I'm zooming in, I'm concentrating on this, go on, you can take the picture. It's the stabilizer that is coming into operation at that point. Have you ever imagined an aircraft? How do they keep going when they are when they are airborne, there's something called a stabilizer that stabilizes them. So you and I too, we need that stabilizer in our lives. So that our lives will not be wobbly. Your life shall not be wobbly. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, your life shall not be wobbly. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we need that, that equilibrium in our lives. People of God. <coughs> the book of Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. He said, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cut unto everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. It's like God is already talking to this 21st century generation. Hear what he says in Isaiah 5, verse 14. Therefore, hell has enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their form, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. You shall not descend into it. Amen. The Bible says this because of the pride and rebellion of man. He says hell has been enlarged. Hell is rejoicing that every day those that are coming to me are multiplying. But I pray you shall not be one of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not be one of them. Listen, children of God. I am not a discourager. I enjoy encouraging people. I enjoy building people up. But you see, let me use this analogy. When they say somebody has a cancer, they don't put bandage on it. Yeah? They put it out or cut it out. So let's face the truth. It may sound hard. It may sound hard. But the truth will always be the truth. Children of God, we are not allowed to align with the people of the world. With the things. No, we're not of this world. Hallelujah. The Bible itself established the, the kingdom of Satan is enlarged because of the things going on here on earth. The world is being blown off balance. The world is losing its stability. There is no stabilizing factor anymore. For just a few minutes, 
I want to present to you what can stabilize you and me, even in this world of instability. What can bring us back to the true center where God himself wants us to be. And I say to you, there is hope for you and me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, there is hope for me. Hope. You see, there is a stabilizing factor. I won't lie to you. It's going to be hard work. It's going to take a lot of responsibility on your part and on my part. But it is not impossible. First and foremost, it is not in my power to make people live right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it is in my power and it's my responsibility to show them how to live right. Amen. And that I am determined to do, child of God. In our text, is as if God has already seen everything. Every, of course, he sees all. But see how long the word has been written in the Holy Bible. God is saying to you and saying to me, I can help you. He's saying there is hope. I can get you back on course. I can bring stability back into your life. If we have ever needed anything in our lives today, it is a stabilizing factor that we need. The whole world is a ticking time bomb. The atmosphere is so unstable, is so volatile, is so explosive. Everybody now has to look around at what's going on here. Am I safe? But when it comes to you and me, we are safe. Amen. We are safe. Amen. Hallelujah. We are safe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that he called me about our son, Oluwashe, that he's been kidnapped. I said, keep waiting. You must be kidding. His legs that he used to walk out of that house. It's the same legs that we used to come into the house. Do you understand? The confidence did not come from me. Hallelujah. 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 I say hallelujah. Because he says the enemies will come towards you one way. They will flee seven ways. Anybody. Wherever they are, no matter how many they are, that as I'm speaking, they are thinking evil concerning you and your family. In the next 10 minutes, they will perish. Amen. This week, I say, is a very important week. Yes. If it's not important to you, it's important to me. It's important to my anointing. I therefore proclaim and declare. I will hear your testimony. Amen. Amen. There is a path back to glory. There is a path back to the place of protection. There is a path back to the place of power. A place of stability. And it is right there in the verse that we read. Isaiah 33 says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Wisdom and knowledge. Not human intellectual wisdom. Not human intelligence. Not even nuclear wisdom. Not political wisdom and knowledge. Look at what happened on Thursday. On parliament. Why will it not happen? When there is instability. Now they are having to compromise here and there. But once you lay it before the Lord, there will be no shadow of doubt. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said this week, God will show you that He is God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. He will prove to you that He is God. Amen. Godly wisdom and knowledge. Holy Spirit imparted wisdom. Now 
let's get to the heart of the matter. What is God the Holy Spirit imparted wisdom? Proverbs 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fear of the Lord is where wisdom comes from. Wisdom springs from the source of the fear of the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yeah. Children of God. That is why to a very large extent even the superpowers are finding it difficult to be stable. See what is happening even in America. The biggest democracy before. This one is accusing this one. No, you are lying. No, you are lying. No, I'm telling the truth. There's a day. The fear of the Lord is not there. But oh, God will help us. Amen. God will help us. Amen. God will help us. The Bible tells us Romans 3 verse 18. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Is it talking about you? Is it talking about me? No fear of God before their eyes. They don't even fear God anymore. And believe in God, it is not applicable to any of us here. Amen. Isaiah 29 verse 13. We are for the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Amen. Let me interpret that. No matter how much you jump, no matter how much you sing, no matter how melodious your voice is, no matter how much you, you can play, no matter how, how beautiful the lyrics are, if your life is following the precepts of men, you have no fear of God. And there can be no stability. Hallelujah. So God said, the fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. In other words, he say they have no true fear of God anymore because they are being controlled by the presence of men. A false fear, an unbiblical fear, a deceptive fear, a diluted fear. Fear that shouldn't be in your life anymore. What you shouldn't be afraid of anymore. When the enemies rise up, and I'm telling you this is what is going to happen to you. You have forgotten that there is a power that is above every other power. You have forgotten that he has given you his blood. You have forgotten that his name is with you. You have forgotten that his word is right there for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many have been stripped of the trophy of God. People of God, just a couple of minutes, I want to show you from God's word what the fear of God looks like. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come with me to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate? Number one. Proverbs 14, 27. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death. When you have the fear of the Lord, the fountain will keep oozing out and will keep replenishing every area of your life, even up to death. So anybody that says, oh, I want to destroy or kill this one, even before they start, they have already failed. Amen. Anyone that says, I will hear bad news over any family here, I declare in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, heavens will strike them down. Amen. From today, your ears will hear good news in the name of Jesus Christ. So 
2 Corinthians 7, verse 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. The issue here is, have we actually been taught the true fear of God? Many have forgotten the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, God of the Bible, the one who wiped out the human race except Noah and his family in the ark. He's still the same God today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said the God of the Bible, the one who opened up the Red Sea and followed up all the Egyptians, the one who opened up the entire earth and followed up the sons of God is still the God of today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God of the Bible, the one who burned up the two sons of Aaron because they offered him a strange fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God of the Bible, the one who rained fire and brimstone right from heaven and destroyed the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, is still the same God today, child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God of the Bible, I said the one who sent poisonous serpents among the people, of, and many of them died because of their sins. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Or you may be saying, I have asked God, that's the God, the Old Testament God. He was angry in the Old Testament. Our own God is the God of the New Testament. He's all grace and mercy. He's not angry anymore. He's calm. He's better adjusted now. <laughs> you might even say God is all, he's, he's now on video. <laughs> to calm his nerves down. But come with me, child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, come with me. Somebody should have told Ananias and Sapphira. Because they didn't get the memo that was sent around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know the story. The man and his wife, they tried to deceive the Holy Spirit. The lie, they sold a piece of land. But they lied about the price about how much that they received. Out of Apostles chapter 5. Let's start from verse 5. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. And great fear came on all that had these things. Let's go to to verse 7. And it was about the space of three hours after. That's the husband who gave up the ghost. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, Yes, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, How is it that ye have agreed together to tend the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried your husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. <laughs> Don't offend the Holy Spirit. Of you. Verse 10. Then fell she down straight away at his feet. And yielded up the ghost. And the young man came in and found her dead. And carried her for buried her by her husband. <laughs> what was the result of this? Let's look at verse 11. 11 and 12 actually. And great fear came upon all the church. And upon as many as had these things. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought upon the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's church. We talk of Old Testament. This is New Testament. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 So we ought to have that fear of the Lord in us at all times. Don't think after all nobody is looking at me. Nobody sees me. God sees you. And God sees me. After Apostles 9, 31. Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria. And were edified and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost were multiplied. I repeat, I prophesy upon the life of somebody. 
this particular month of June, God will surprise you fully. God will surprise you fully. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying also for somebody here today. The thing that you need that will make your joy to be full, that will make you fulfilled, I declare in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, before the end of this week, you will receive. You will receive. Because you are determined and you are hearing this word today. And you are making up your mind and saying, wherever you are gone astray before, you are coming back home. I say God will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Child of God, let's rise up. Tell God, Father, renew your right spirit in me. Father, renew your right spirit in me. Everywhere that I've done my own, what I just liked, Father, just remember them no more. Renew me right now, Father. And from this moment, I'm determined never, oh Lord, to use my own wisdom anymore. Human wisdom is nothing. It's useless. It's worthless. At the crusade, a woman came out. Mommy, you can sit down for a moment. I was testifying to what the Lord has done in my life. And what she said is, was this. That her mother-in-law was living with them. With her and her husband. And mama went to the market. She, she was coming back. Normally, as our wives would do, went to meet mama. Welcome, mama. Welcome. Mama now gave her a loaf of bread and said, eat this bread and use it to block your womb. I'm quoting her verbatim. She thought it was a joke. She said she thought, what kind of joke is this? She went ahead and ate the bread anyway. She's not. She didn't take it serious. <laughs> the mother in law, the husband's wife, and the husband's mom. She didn't expect her to harm her, but she ate the bread. And lo and behold, that was it. Nothing, nothing. I don't want to go into the details, but she gave us all the details. For months and months and months. Months ran into years. And lo and behold, that day, that night that she came to give the testimony, it was a three day program we had. She came the, the day before. So she now said, This is after about 14, 15 years. She said when she went to bed that the after the, the program she had a dream. Some men dressed like medical doctors. 
surrounded her dead. And it was like they performed an operation. And they took out something like a thread, a rope, out of her. This woman said, since the month she ate that bread, she never saw any blood. But that night as she woke up, her bed was soaked. When last I went, Baba told me the woman had dreams. I don't know why the Spirit of God has asked me to tell you this story. But one thing I know, he never directs anything without a reason. The reason why God wants you to hear that story, because I've not said it, I mean, it's almost two years now. Between now and the end of this week, God will demonstrate it. God will make it evident in the name of Jesus. What in essence I want you to pray about, no matter how difficult it is, say unto the Lord, that which you might, I want you to rise up, please, child of God. I want you to rise up. This is a very, very important one. And we are at a very critical stage right now. We, when you are in the presence of God, the fear of the Lord was a paramount. Hallelujah. So go before the Lord. That which they say is impossible. That which they say they have blocked in. That which they say no, it, it cannot happen. Father, in heaven, tonight, even as I go to sleep, we have to stop that operation. I hear it say. In order for me to receive from you, ah, for there has been a day of testimony, God of God. So your own must not be difficult for God. You may think you don't need anything. You don't have to offend anybody. You don't have to offend anybody.
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Yeah. The only thing that can bring us back to track, that can stabilize us, is that fear of the Lord. I want to round up. But let me read Proverbs 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days. For the years of the wicked shall be shut up. So when you have the fear of the Lord, you will live long. That's why I know I will not die young. But you make that declaration. I will not die young. My children will not die young. I will not die young. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In the same book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. When you have that fear of the Lord, you will have that place, that rest of mind, that peace of mind. You have that place of refuge. Whatsoever has been challenging you. Today, I declare calmness. Amen. Every storm that has really shed upon your life. Today, I say they must be still. They must be still. Be still. Be still. In the name of Jesus. Go before the Lord. Let your protection be over me and my family. Let your protection be over me and my family. From today and all the days of my life, let there be no weeping in my abode. Let there be no tears in my eyes. Let there be joy, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I don't know what all this means, child of God, but I'm hearing things. The Lord is saying to me that from now, you must get ready. There is a major, major, major breakthrough that is being awarded. It is being handed over unto each and every one of you. I want to encourage you, child of God, that we are the thing it will end for you. It shall be a new ground for you. There will be new visions for you. New missions for you. New accomplishments for you. Help us will arrive for you. Help us will locate you. They will not just locate you, they will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be stranded. You will not be defeated. You will not be sorrowful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there any believer in this house? Today? If you know that this week, truly, God has programmed you in his own plan, begin to thank God because you are in his plan. You are in his plan. As you determine to fear me, he will never abandon you. As you are determined to take that healthy dose of the fear of God, you will see him walk wonders in your life. Praise the God of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Lord have me to 
say to somebody, it does not matter how hopeless they are telling you your matter is. It says I will prove that I'm the Almighty. Yeah. Say, they say that matter is hopeless. They say there is no hope. Child of God, God himself has given you the stamp of his authority. He will prove that he is the Almighty. Lift up your voice unto the Lord. Father, show that you are the Almighty. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell him. Where you want people to show up? Where you want people to show up? Credit council is going bonkers with uh, 
They came to the shop, which even a danger will stay. He said, there was a cable hanging somewhere. And it's, it's overshadowing and overlocking and overturning. I wasn't there, but the man met my mom. I, I was like, she was blowing grammar and blowing grammar. I said, are you be God? Wait. <laughs> God will surprise you. Yeah. No matter how difficult it may seem to you, don't believe you have the power to do anything. Just leave it for God. Oh, yes. Just leave it. I'm talking personally on that. The guy said, I'm coming back in. and actually he's out all he found virtually all the shops in, in Plumstead. Must have got the letter. Because we held our pastor's meeting, was it two Sundays ago? The the landlord of that segment. You will see that he had painted this thing. This wall white as well, so everybody is there. Uh, they went with all the threats. About a week after, because they were two, one of them came back. We have not done anything. We have not done anything. And Mama said, when the, the, the other one came, came on his own. He said, Oh, you don't wear. Hey, I mean, who do I? I bet who do I? He said, My man now told her, hey, Don't worry, we will even do more. We are going to, we are going to paint the, the shutter. And he's going, Ah, I'll be back. But with this, what do we do? God will qualify you. After, yeah, but, God will bless you and your family. Papa Bolu, he, he, he painted the same for us. And he was marvelous. Me too, I look and I say, ah, this is over good. They now came back, was it Wednesday or Thursday? I will take the picture before and after. I will put it in our magazine as a model for, for everybody to come. Uh -uh. No, because. Yeah. No, even before it, ah! Then they now came inside. We're done. You did that. This is hard work. This is this. This is that. I said your enemies will be at peace with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. God allows certain things in order to prove himself. In order to prove himself. while you are going through it. Mm. But you need to have that fear of the Lord in you to actually believe that truly I will never sink. Mm. I can tell you so many stories, personal testimonies. And that is why I'm very passionate about this, this thing that God gave us today. The stabilizing factor. Don't shake. Don't fret. That is what the enemy wants you to do. No matter how bleak it looks like, God will shine his light upon it. That same ground is where he will shine his light upon it. I just say I should share that with you. When the Almighty comes, we will wrote a letter, Abby. And you are liable to give this, give this. You wrote all sorts of nonsense. All that we did was not to paint. Before Benji said, yeah, I was already been saying, we're well done. <laughs> Child of God, when comes to write you that kind of, ordinarily you'll be afraid. You'll be running as if the whole world is against you. But we're very much at peace. Who is he? He get men now, and we call him and tell God. God, this one wants to disturb your, your childhood. Anybody that wants to disturb your peace. Oh, yes. So long as they have a name. So long as they are stepping upon this ground. Mm. Wherever they are on the surface of the earth, they will not see the light of day. Yes, All they want to never see the light of day. Yes. Confusion will set you to the attack. Yes. In the 
name of Jesus. I should determine, in fact, more determined today to trust and believe God and fear Him at all times. I pray for you at every point that you need God, you will find Him. As you seek Him, you will find Him. I release you to the hands of the Almighty Father. From today and all the days of your life, there shall be no error. Amen. There will be no terror. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will abide by you. Amen. He will be with you. Amen. He will go ahead of you. He will come and tell you. He will do all that is in his power in order to glorify his name. In your life, in your family, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, therefore, any power or any authority that we look for in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we look for in the Holy One, that we look for in the blood of Jesus, but we cannot find them. I said they've been destroyed. Amen. Any authority that rises up against and says no unto me, yes, that the Lord has already established concerning you. Oh yeah, I destroy them for me. In the name of Jesus. Take all the glory for Father, take all the glory. Number take all the honor. We thank you for all you have done today. We thank you, Father, in heaven, because this is a new, the beginning of a new chapter in the lives of your children. And this chapter, nobody will pollute. Nobody will contaminate. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.